Here's Paul at Eurotiddy Beach, just getting our gear ready to put our first set out for the day. Now this is actually quite a special fishing trip. This is the last fishing trip that we are ever going to be able to do with Paul, now that he's passed away. So we still managed to get some great fish, so it was a good day out. We will still be doing our videos and our drone demos, so make sure you subscribe to our page and subscribe to our newsletters for all of the latest information. A little bit later on this day we take the gear out using an electric reel which we've had a few customers asking us how to do so stay tuned. Six hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. What a clean cast. It's dead straight. Big baits. It's very important that you set the tension on the line. Make sure those sinkers are grabbing in. If you haven't got tension, and if the sinkers haven't grabbed, you will not see the boat and the fish won't hook up. Deploying your line with the Newton 3 release mechanism is as easy as grabbing your line or flicking your bail arm over. 600 metres. Auto return home. Yep, auto return home. So I'm just winding up the stack line, trying to bed the sinker in so that we've got a straight line from here to the sinker and then you'll be able to see the bites and the fish will be able to hook themselves. Don't line too fast or too hard or you'll pull the sinker out. kind of a strike uh, from a 780 metre offshore set. We're hoping it's a big snapper. 
We're about halfway in. We'll find out soon. Number three, we'd left this rod unattended while we were dealing with the big fish. Another great catch, good sized fish. 750 metres offshore. One of our customers, Kerry Rabe, brought his new Daiwa Tanacom electric reel along. Uh, he was a little bit nervous about using it just because he hadn't actually used an electric reel before, so he asked us to cast his gear out for him just so that he could understand how to do it and see how easy it is. Just watch the fire. 16 meters a second. Yeah. Oops. Over there, drop it. Let's drop. Let's throw it under the water. The drone's still going out, so auto return. Oh, what the? No, not 500 metres. Just, so the drone's only 500 metres back. Now we've hooked a beauty. Wow. What's this? That's a big fish. Don't turn it on. Kerry's just getting the battery plugged into the reel so that he can start using the electric function on it to, to haul in the line. Uh, you really want to be gentle with this fish. So we've hooked up with a really good fish on the Tanakum. We dropped the line 950 metres offshore. I've got it on a slow retrieve. Because this is a big fish. It had probably only been in the water 20 or 30 seconds. We hadn't even tensioned the line. Whatever this fish is, probably picked up the bait mid-water. Bringing the line in too fast, especially while using an electric reel, can actually rip the hook out of the fish's mouth. So here we're bringing the line in slowly. This is, this, this, the fish is losing the battle, we just gained a bit of speed then. But I don't want to wind too fast. If this is a snapper, it's a beauty. perfect for the The old reel's really straining. I like this reel, there's no chance of overrun. It was well controlled. And you click that lever, bang, it releases. I wonder if this is a kingfish. Wow. So come and change place and come around this side. Now that Kerry's seen how easy it actually is, he's decided to have a go with his own reel and see what it actually feels like so that he gets a bit of practice so that he can go out by himself and use it. So it's all up to you now, you're making decisions about how much time you want to take for it to come in. I'd, I'd say these reels could cost you fish if you turn it, wouldn't mind too fast. 
You wouldn't want to snap something like this off. You think? They, they stopped fighting, they only fight for about 100 metres. Yeah, I've had that happen. It's had already happened once or twice. Oh, it was yeah, yeah. yeah. Big snapper! Camera on, get, get in the third. Wow, that's a Perry's first set. So beauty. 500 metres out. Bit heavy. Twins. Good. 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 Yep. I asked Paul's, uh, from Paul's fishing systems for a demo with my new Tanacon reel and uh, drone, and this was the first set. It only just hit the water after Paul released the sinker, and that's it. This might stop the wife drowning. So how big do you think they are? The estimate, I don't know, 14 pound maybe, 12? Yeah, nice fish.